Greetings again, everyone. Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today I'll be showing you how to draw parallel lines and also how to bisect an angle. I will now go ahead and border my paper. I am now going, going to draw a line that is of length 100 millimeters and then I will construct a parallel line to this line. Now there we have our line, we are going to call it AB. Now parallel lines are lines that are running in the same direction and are the same distance apart. For example, these two lines, they are in the same direction and they are equally apart. If I should measure from here to here, I will get my 15 millimeters and if I should measure from here to here I will still get my 15 millimeters so the distance between both of them they are equal right now in order to construct a parallel line to this line AB we will need to use our compass now you may be given the distance between the two lines if you are given the distance between the two lines, you would need to open your compass to that distance or measurement. So, I am going to now construct another line that is 3 centimeters away from the line AB. So, I'll be constructing a parallel line that is 3 centimeters apart from AB. What I will now need to do is to take my compass and open it three centimeters. So I've just used my set square, right, to open my compass to three centimeters. What I will now do is that we will now need to place our compass on the line and scribe some arcs above our line AB, right? So we'll, we'll place our compass on the AB line and we will scribe some arcs above AB. Now, now that we have these arcs, what we will now do is that we will now draw our line to fall directly on the top of these arcs. So with the use of a set square, we will now draw our line to fall directly on the top of those arcs that we drew.
Okay, we now have our line CD. And to prove that this line is parallel, I will now do some measurements. Okay, so I'm now getting my three centimeters from, from this point to this point, three centimeters. And I'm also going to measure again from this end. All right, I'm still getting my three centimeters. Now this has proven to us that this line CD is parallel from our line A, B, right? So A, B and C, D are parallel lines. Now to indicate that, we will now write. Okay, so A, D, A, B, is parallel to CD. Now I'm going to now draw another line at a random, randomly. I am now, now go, going to draw two lines that are parallel to this line. Now I'm, go, I'm, I'm now going to open my compass to two centimeters. Now what I will do is that I will place my compass at A. And I'm now going to swing some arcs above and below this line. I will now draw two lines. Now we must ensure that the line is falling directly on the top of the arcs. Now there we have our line C, D and C, D is parallel to A, B. I am now going to draw my other line E, F. Okay, now EF Now 
Now EF is parallel to AB and also parallel to CD. All these three lines are parallel to each other. Now to indicate that, Okay, so AB is parallel to EF, which is parallel to CD. They are all parallel to each other. Next, I'm going to show you how to bisect an angle. To bisect an angle means that we are going to divide this angle equally in two parts. Right? So we are not just going, going to divide it, but it is going to be divided equally in two parts. I am going to draw a random angle for this lesson. In lessons to come, you will be given specific angles to draw. Okay, so we have our angle CAB, right? This is a random an angle. In order to bisect any angle, we need to open our compass to a very small convenient radius, one convenient for you. When you open your compass, you will now put it at A and you will scribe an arc from this line to touch this line. Now that you have scribed that arc, what you now need to do is to open your compass just a little more. Right? We are going, we are going to call this point F. No, we are going to call this point D and this point E. No, so once you have opened your compass just a little more, we will now put our compass at D, which is where this arc, this arc touched the AB line, point D. And we are going to scribe an arc. We are also going to put it at E. And we are going, going to scribe another arc. No, we are not moving our... We, we are not moving the, 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 the length of the radius of the compass any at all. It must remain constant. Now, where the arcs intersected each other, we need, now need to draw a line from A through the intersection of these arcs. Okay, so we now have two angles, this angle and this angle. Now this is how we bisect an angle. This angle right here is equal to this angle, right? This is known as bisecting an angle. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share with a student you know from another school. Have a wonderful day.